Hi, this is Jason, the membership director here at the Cash Valley Chamber of Commerce, and this is the new member orientation. Talk about how you can get involved quickly with the chamber. So the first steps in getting involved is going to the website, cashchamber.com, and completing your profile in the member information. In the upper right-hand corner, you can see there is a login. If you don't already have your login, all you have to do is email me, jason at cashchamber.com. We can get you a login set up. I just send you a link, you connect to it, enter in your username, create a password, and then you can fill out your whole uh, member information. Uh, it's very important to do that uh, because that's what's gonna show up on our website. And then that's also how we're gonna get in touch with you. So complete your directory listing. This helps out your business quite a bit in several different ways. Um, it's a great landing page. So if you don't already have a website, uh, it can act as kind of a spot for people to find you. Um, if you have a landing page on your website already, then it can direct people to your website. Um, and you can put your logo in, you can put graphics in, you can put videos in. Our system's been upgraded. So there's all sorts of things you can do to complete your listing and help stand out from the crowd. Um, this also includes a contact us form for your business. So you don't have to put your email out there for everybody to scan our website and find it, but they can still directly contact you through the website. Um, it helps with spam prevention because we have spam filters and uh, allows prospective clients to reach you. And then it's mobile friendly on our directory pages. So people that are out online can get into our website, get into our directory and find businesses. And we can see how many times people are clicking on links on your page, how many times people are finding you in our search. So we keep track of our analytics and try and uh, help boost businesses that way. Um, also, if your directory listing matches your web page, Google likes that. They rank pages higher that way when they see the same information repeated multiple times. So if you have it in our directory, plus on Google, plus on your web page, you're going to rank higher than somebody that just has a web page. So this is what your directory looks like. So as you see in the upper left, there's the home page, which brings you to the screen, um, a copy of the directory so you can look through the members, uh, the events. So if you need to submit an event, that's the tab for that. If you have a news release to share with us, we'll talk about that. That's in the next one. And then your settings, how you want this information to prepare to appear. Looking down the left side, you can see the shortcuts to personal information. That's your information, doesn't appear on our website. The company information, that's the information that does go to the website. And then hot deals and member to member deals. Uh, we'll talk about those. That's where you can find those, that information. Um, news releases, a second spot to find that. And if you have any job postings. And then under is the resources. Um, in the middle is our welcome message. And then underneath that is the information section. So if other people are changing their information or putting out information for you to see, that's where you're gonna find it. On the right hand, it shows the next upcoming events on the Chamber calendar, and then how full your member profile is. This is the information for your organization. This is what's gonna come up when they want to use, see your email or your company name or your website. This is what you'll fill out for your company. And then here's where the employee section is. So you can actually have multiple representatives in your company. Each one can have their own login, so you don't all have to share a login. And then they can change their personal information. And if you have given them permission, they can change the company information. This also allows you to separate your primary representative, the person that you want us talking to when we have chamber information from, for example, your billing. So if you have somebody that does billing, um, you can actually have those as two separate people. And then if you have several reps that need to sign up for their own lunches, uh, they can have their own logins and this is where you would see them. So the next step is to get your chamber uh, member badge. Um, when you join, you get one mailed to you um, along with your uh, receipt for joining the chamber. Um, so it's a window cling, but then you also have a digital version. If you notice in the left-hand corner, bottom left of the member page, you'd saw this links and resources. The membership badge is right there. So you can probably display that on your website. If you have multiple uh, locations, just contact us and we can get you more copies 
of the window clings, because if every location wants to have one, we're happy to do that. Or you just need a couple for a couple of different doors. We're happy to send those to you. Um, so if the, you don't have a brick and mortar, we have a lot of home-based businesses. This is a great way to show off your uh, chamber membership. Um, people are more likely to do business with chamber members. We found an 84% more likely to do business with a member of a chamber than somebody that they find is not. So this is something that will help boost your reputation. Uh, it shows that you're a member of the community and that you've invested in the business community. So chamber events are the next one. So which ones are right for you? Each event kind of has its own audience. Uh, some of the audiences cross over. But each event kind of has its own audience, um, its own networking groups, uh, and the people that are paying attention. So if you're trying to reach people of certain demographics, um, certain business types, uh, let us know what you're looking for, and we can help you direct you to which membership uh, event that you want. So every month on the third Tuesday, we have leadership lunch. Uh, we bring in a le uh, leader in the community or a speaker, and they give us a great topic. Um, and then there's networking before and after it and a wonderful lunch. We always do those at the Riverwoods and it's always the third Tuesday. We have ribbon cutting events, which is great to attend or even hold for yourself. That's a great way to get some attention to your business. Uh, find an excuse. We love coming out and doing ribbon cuttings. Uh, there's no cost for those. If you give us enough time, we invite our ambassadors and our board of directors and we try and bring in a big production for it uh, as big as we can the giant scissors and ribbon and everything. So um, it's also great to watch our calendar and see when those are coming up so you can come and greet the new businesses. Um, we also have an ambassador program that comes to all of our ribbon cuttings. Uh, that's another way to get involved in the chamber. So other events, we have a weekly lunch now. It's pure networking. We just get together at a local business um, and have lunch together and network with each other. Um, quarterly, we do after hours. Right now it was on hold. Um, but we're going to come back, do after hours. It's another pure networking thing. And then we have lunch and learn. So we have different subjects uh, that we teach. Um, cybersecurity, we have digital marketing, we have retention, we have recruitment, um, human resources. We have all sorts of different things that we're teaching. We bring in experts and you have lunch and learn about uh, the different aspects of business from the experts. So our chamber events, um, these are the annual events that we have. We have the awards gala, which happens in February. Um, that's basically a black tie affair. Um, we present the citizen of the year, business of the year, and different awards like that. Uh, it's a great way to uh, get involved with new businesses and long established businesses and the pillars of the community. In April, we have the Greater Cache Valley Economic Summit. We put that on in conjunction with the county. Uh, and then we bring in economists and we bring in business leaders and uh, leaders within the Valley to talk about how Cash Valley is doing economically. We have some training that we do, breakout sessions, and just some great speakers that show up to that. And lots of opportunities for businesses to be seen. Then in September, we have our Patriot Day Golf Invitational. It's on or around September 11th, uh, Patriot Day. So that's a great way to see uh, the C-suite. Uh, usually it's our C-level executives that are out on the course that day. Um, it's a great way to be involved. We do a, a charity to a veteran organization during that. So it's a great way to give back. We love giving back and helping our members give back. In October, we have our NUMI conference, which is the Northern Utah Manufacturing Excellence Conference. Uh, so this is for manufacturers and people that are servicing the manufacturing industries. So it's a great way to be seen by that group. And we have our business women's conference in November. Uh, so we bring in again, speakers, training, breakout sessions, uh, specifically targeted at women in business, whether it's women business owners or just women that are working within business. Uh, great information uh, through that whole convention. So it's always worth coming to. Then we have our committees. Uh, the main committees we have, we have our Legislative Affairs Committee, which is probably one of our most visible ones because we get involved in um, any kind of business uh, legislation that's coming along. We have subcommittees that review every bill that's coming to the floor, um, and then we form opinions on that. If there's something that we think will hurt business, then we let the uh, legislators know. Uh, if there's something we think will help business, we let them know. 
and uh, get our voice heard and get our members' voice heard about what's in our going on in legislation. Next, we have women in business. They meet monthly. Um, they do a luncheon as well. Any member of the chamber can automatically join women in business for free because they are part of the chamber now. Um, and so there's uh, scholarship opportunities that they do. Um, that's the main purpose of it is to generate women scholarships and uh, then also bringing in experts in business and talking to uh, our members about that. And then we have our Latino group. Um, they meet every month. Um, it's done entirely in Spanish. They have get together for dinner um, and they bring in experts to talk about subjects that they uh, want to hear about. So each of these groups is self-governed. They decide what they want to hear about and uh, what kind of speakers they get. And we just facilitate that, helping get the right speakers and get the right locations and bringing them all together. Next, we have our manufacturing group. I spoke at uh, just a moment ago. It's NUMI, Northern Utah Manufacturing Excellence. Uh, we try and have quarterly meetings with that. Um, we do have a committee um, that is just members on that committee, but anybody can join the manufacturing group if they're interested in learning more about other manufacturers in the Valley, uh, lean techniques uh, and resources that manufacturers need. So we get a lot of information out there for them. And then of course our annual uh, event in October. And then we have our ambassadors, probably one of our most important committees. And um, these are the people that support the chamber. Um, they believe in the chamber mission and they are trying to help us out. So ambassadors come to our ribbon cuttings. They come to all of our events and they meet the new members. Anytime we have a new member, they get an ambassador uh, mentor. So if you're a new member, expect to hear from your ambassador mentor, usually about a month uh, in, and they bring a swag bag out and find out how the business is doing and what they need from the chamber. So it's just another way for us to reach out um, and approach businesses and find out how they're doing and what the chamber can do to help them further what they're trying to do. So newsletter and our online calendar. So we have the In the Know newsletter. It goes out every Wednesday, 8 a.m. and reaches over 2,500 emails. This is our main uh, information source that we send out. Um, and as a member, you can be in it. All you have to do is send a submission to me, jason at cashchamber.com. Um, it's best if you have a graphic and then some wording and then whatever links you want. Um, so we can actually track how many people click on your links uh, so we can see how well things are doing and you can submit every week. Um, we do have limited number of slots. So if uh, it's full and you're doing it a lot, maybe you'll miss a, a week. Uh, but I tell people generally three out of four weeks, it won't be a problem, uh, if the, even if the submissions are pretty heavy. And again, it's frequently as you like every week is if that's what you want to do. Uh, not enough people take advantage of that. So we have an online calendar, share your events with the community. So uh, the Visitors Bureau has the number one calendar in the Valley. Ours is number two. We have a lot of people that see our calendar and look at it every day and see what's going on. And any member can post an event. Um, you just do your login, hit the events tab, fill out the information. Uh, we review it and then send it out. Usually within 24 hours, your uh, event is live on our calendar and people can click on it and you can have them go to um, whatever sign up you need on your end, um, but displaying it on our calendar so people can find you. And then our social media. Uh, when last we checked, we're over 100,000 impressions a month on just our Facebook and we have Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. So if you wanna get your business seen, this is a great way. You can do it again every week. All you have to do is email Jeanette at cashchamber.com and tell her what time you want it posted. If you don't care when it's posted, she'll find a good time slot for you and get your information posted online. This is a great way for members to be seen in the community. We have a lot of people coming into our pages. Um, we built this for members to get the word out about your business. So make sure you're using it. Schedule one-to-one -one meetings with your peers. Um, so we have almost 600 businesses in the chamber. Um, some of them are probably going to be similar to your business, and some of them are going to be completely different. Um, but even if somebody's in the same industry, it doesn't mean they're a competitor. Um, maybe you have something slightly different than they do, and you can help each other out. Uh, so you can promote other people's brands. You can find out what they're doing. 
a little market research, or you can find um, businesses that help your business so you can co-promote each other. So take a look at our list of all the businesses. If you need an introduction, that is one of the things that the chamber does. So competition is not bad because sometimes identifying what your uh, other members are doing will show you some areas that you could excel in that they're not covering. So we can provide you a list of members. Um, if you see somebody you need an introduction to, let us know. Um, just so you know, we do not share emails. Um, we will do some warm introductions if we, we feel it's appropriate. Um, but this is a way to make take advantage of networking that you've already done to see who is there at the event. Uh, this is a great way to get a hold of members because um, you can get their addresses in an easy to use format if you're doing a mailing, inviting them to things. Um, so use our member directory, see who you might know out there, see who you might want to meet, see who you might want to network with. And leverage our partnerships. Um, the Chamber doesn't stand alone. We work with a lot of different organizations throughout the state. Um, so Department of Workforce Services, EDC Utah, um, the Entrepreneurship Center, the Small Business Development Center, BRAG, um, the cities, the counties, World Trade Center, Utah. So if there's some of these organizations that you need to be involved in, um, we're involved in it. So come talk with us about how we can help you get more involved um, with not only the local co economy, but the state economy. And we have lots of resources to share, and that is what we're here for. So hot deals and member to member discounts. So this is another way to stand out. Not a lot of people use these. Um, hot deals uh, show up on our directory. If you have a hot deal, members can, or non members and members can see it um, and click through and see what kind of a discount you've got. Um, other people offer discounts only to chamber members. So that's a member to member discount. So only other members when they log in can see them. Um, announcing these on our newsletter and in our social is also a really good way to promote it. But people do just click through the hot deals. It's a section in our website, so people do see it. Um, it supports other members by saving them money. And it, you're already going to run the promotions anyway, most likely. This just gets you more bang for your buck, gets you more promotion. So you can do your hot deal or your member-to-member -member discount on top of going in the newsletter and on top of going on social media. So it gives us just another way to get you going. So we have other benefits. As I said, discounts from other members. Um, we have 401k, self-funded 401k program that's run through a member of ours. Um, supplemental insurance and urgent care medical plans. Um, some of these aren't available to people that aren't members of the chamber. Um, some of these are severely discounted for chamber members. So being a member of the chamber gets you access to stuff that other people can't and to prices that other people can't touch. So Ask us about any of these that you're interested in. Um, our classes, of course, that we have going, um, I believe we're for a year generally is what we plan to do. Uh, but sometimes we have more because people approach us and uh, we have great classes coming up. And then referrals. Again, this is what we're here for. We're here to help our members. Um, that is specifically my job is to help members. So if you need a referral, somebody to help you with something, um, let us know who you need. Also, if you're a member, you're on our mind. We give out referrals all the time. Every day I'm asked uh, for a referral for a business and I go immediately into my directory and into my knowledge of the members um, before I'll ever talk about anybody else. So being a member does pay off. And here is our team. So Jamie Andrus is our president and CEO. Um, she runs the organization and is the chair of the most of the committees and helps uh, the businesses in the Valley. Um, I'm the membership director, Jason, and I my job is specifically to help members out um, with chamber benefits and chamber functions to make sure they're getting the most out of their chamber membership. We have Jeanette, our operations and marketing director. So she oversees our events and all our marketing efforts. So if you have any questions about those, she's the one to reach out to. Uh, we have Jennifer. She is our executive administrative assistant. So when you come into the office, that's generally who you're going to see at the front. And last, we have Julie Pitcher, and she's our development director. She works almost exclusively with our board of governors, uh, but you'll also see her at a lot of our events and functions. 
So if you have any questions, just let us know how we can help. We are here for your business. We're here for every business in Cache Valley, but we do pay particular attention to our members and trying to help them out any way they can. So if you're struggling with something, let us know. We probably know who to talk to uh, and how to get you help. So let us know how we can help your business. Thanks.